In this video, I'm going to show you how I took these old pillows and I made new pillowcases for them out of this blue flannel fabric from Joann's. So the first thing I did after washing and drying my fabric was just iron all three yards of it. Then I started to measure out a rectangle to make up the body of my pillow. At first I used a soft measuring tape, but I quickly realized a straight edge was a lot better. I just used this construction ruler because it's what I had, but if you have one of those clear sewing rulers, I would recommend using that. I just don't have one. So I plotted my rectangle. It was 37 and a quarter inches by 40 inches, and then I cut it out. Then I set it to the side and I traced out my end pieces. So to make the pattern for these end pieces, I just took the edge of my pillow and I traced it out and then I added a 5 8 seam allowance. After cutting out my first piece, I flipped my pattern over to make sure that I had my end pieces oriented right for um, the construction of the pillow. Then I put those pieces to the side and I went back to my rectangle. This part might be a little tricky if you've never hemmed, it, hemmed anything before. Basically you take your raw edge and turn it over and then turn that over again so you have a nice clean edge. So what I'm doing here is just measuring out the length for me to fold it over. So my first line was 5 8 and then my second line was 5 8 And then on the other side I did it a little different. So I wanted my edges to overlap a bit so I'd have an opening to take the pillow off so I could wash it. Kind of like an envelope pillow. I think that's what they call it. Um, so on the other side I did my first line was an inch and a quarter which is double 5 8 and then I did the second line was four inches away from that line. So after marking out my edges, I took them to the iron to make sure I had a nice crisp edge. And then this is where I measured out that four inches. Originally, I was going to add like a button to these to keep it closed. Um, but in the end, I decided it didn't really need it. So I just took my big fold to the iron. And then I pinned down both edges after ironing them flat. So you'll see on this bigger edge that I pinned my pins perpendicular, which makes it a little easier to pull them out as I go through the machine. But on the shorter edge, I pinned them like parallel to the edge just because there was less fabric there to pin. Either way works. So then I took my fabric to the machine and I just sewed those edges that I pinned. I made sure to cut my loose threads as I went. And then here I was just joining up the edges so that I could have like a closed loop. Um, I didn't work from like, like a factory pattern for this. I was kind of making it up as I went. So this kind of worked for me it wasn't the best but basically i lined up the stitch lines right sides together and then i sewed that little inch on both sides so here i'm just sewing down both of those sides and trimming my threads in between Then I moved on to inserting my edge pieces into my big rectangle piece. So I started by marking out a 5 8 seam allowance around my triangle so that I had nowhere to pin it. 
and then I pinned it into like the body of the rectangle with the short flat edge at the bottom so that my flap, my opening flap, would be tucked underneath. After I pinned, I hand basted the triangle pieces into just the, the spot where I pinned over the white line that I marked out. Um, I just used a running stitch so that I could rip it out easily after machine sewing it down. This process was really similar to setting a sleeve into a bodice, even though it like, obviously wasn't a bodice. Then I just sewed over my basting stitches. Basting them in just made it that much easier to sew. And then this is what it looked like when I pulled both pieces off the machine. And then I just turned it inside out and I put it on my pillow. And that's how the pillow came out. So this is what it looked like when it was done.